Within the Jewish community, the thing that really speaks to me is making Judaism and Jewish community meaningful, compelling. The days of, if you build it, they will come or over. And I think we need a new message for a 21st century. And actually, I think we have a great message. I think we need to deliver the message about being inclusive and welcoming and dynamic and compelling. I think we need to inspire people again. And I'm, I'm, I'm ready to... I came to Boulder. Another reason for coming to Boulder isn't just about the mountains and the scene, but to do Jewish a little differently than how the rest of the country is doing it. I think it's time. And, and people here are ready to do that work with me. Uh, that's why I came to Boulder. What is inspiring to you? How do we get you to connect? How do we get people to roll up their sleeves and get to work in building a Jewish present and a Jewish future? And I think congregations can't function on this is the way we've always done it. I think there has to be a reason and a rationale and there's a drive that we're gonna to come together within this community and a covenant and relationships that are gonna I really think we're in the business of transforming lives. And if we transform our lives into being more caring and compassionate and just, well, then we get to transform the world. And, and I think we have that ability and I think we have that power. As cheesy as it sounds, it's probably my mother. My mother died 10 years ago and I grew up in a home in a, in a very involved, engaged home in a reformed Jewish household. My mom was in those days still called the principal of the religious school. But everything in my house was Jewish. And my nighttime lullabies were prayers from Nifty's songbook. And I didn't realize it until I was a high school kid in youth group and saying, why does everybody know my nighttime lullabies from when I was a child? Um, there was Jewish art and there was conversations about Israel and we had lots of people over for Shabbat dinner. Everything was really powerful memories. And my mom did it without forcing it. She did it because she loved it. And that was contagious to me. And that's what I'm trying to do. How do you take these things that are contagious and, and make it matter for, for, for my congregants and for our friends?